I'm Greg King, the Product Manager for Full Stack DR. I'm going to step you through the entire process of executing a switchover using Full Stack DR with the click of a single button. Watch closely because the process only takes about 30 seconds. Let's begin. Navigate to Migration and Disaster Recovery in the OCI console. Select DR Protection Groups. DR protection groups are logical containers that inform full stack DR which elements of your tenancy are part of the same business system or application stack and which two OCI regions are peers of each other. Select the DR protection group for the business system which is named MyApp01 in this demo. Select Execute DR Plan. I'm executing a planned orderly switchover so I will select this. Notice the pre-checks are enabled by default. You can uncheck this to save some time if you are confident everything is going to work. I lack that confidence, so I'm going to leave pre-checks enabled. And now select the single button that triggers the execution. That's it. That was the entire process for initiating the recovery for any business system, no matter how complex or how many steps it takes to recover. You can execute other DR plans contained in other DR protection groups, or you can stay here to monitor the process of the DR plan we just executed. Your entire recovery team and executive management can access the same exact screen to monitor the progress from anywhere around the world. The key benefit I'm demonstrating today is that the person executing the DR plan does not need to understand anything about the application being recovered or have any specialized skills. You still need highly skilled technical resources on your recovery team, but they can focus on solving problems rather than being bogged down typing commands at a keyboard. And your team can execute DR plans from anywhere, even if the OCI console is inaccessible. We're not inventing new ways to perform DR. We're simply automating the manual or built-in DR steps each service or application already has in place so your staff doesn't need to spend hours or days doing everything by hand. That means your recovery operations are much faster and more reliable because we're executing your recovery steps as fast as OCI can handle them. Now let me show you a few things about the UI. Notice that the DR plan can be canceled if things are going horribly wrong. Full Stack DR also has the unique ability to pause and then resume a DR operation instead of canceling. This means you can take the time to solve major problems and then return here to resume executing the plan where it left off. Let's take a quick look at the pre-checks as they are executing. Pre-checks validate the readiness of various things such as replicated block storage and file systems, the status of compute, and ensures networks, subnets, and load balancers still exist at the standby site. It also ensures DataGuard is ready for switchover or failover and ensures custom scripts you've added to user-defined steps are accessible and executable at the primary and standby regions. This is a relatively simple DR plan, and you can see here there are slightly over 80 different validations that are performed before we even begin executing the recovery steps. Full stack DR will pause automatically if any of these pre-checks fail, allowing your recovery team to investigate and fix problems before the DR operation begins. Let me show you a couple more things. This is called a plan group. Plan groups execute serially one after another. So this group is not going to begin until all the steps contained in this group complete successfully. Notice some plan groups say built-in and others say user-defined. Built-in plan groups contain all the things we know how to do out of the box and are pre-populated based on the compute, block storage, file systems, databases, and network components you've added to a protection group. User-defined plan groups contain anything you need us to do during a recovery that we don't handle out of the box. Almost anything you can imagine can be added by your IT staff as needed. Plan groups contain one or more plan steps like this. All plan steps in a plan group are executed in parallel at the same time. If this step encounters a problem, Full Stack DR will allow you to solve the problem, then return here to either skip or retry the step again. You can also view the log for each plan step as it's running. 
Every single step of this plan execution, including all logs, are recorded and available for review long after a plan's success or failure for postmortems, auditing, and compliance. Full Stack DR is extremely flexible and can be tailored to control almost anything you need to recover, even if we don't have built in support yet. If you can recover it using a keyboard, then it is highly likely you can control it with Full Stack DR. You will create user defined plan groups like this one to handle shutting down your application stack at the current primary region. In this case, we are recovering a single business system that includes Oracle Analytics Cloud. OCI integration, eBusiness Suite, and a homegrown application hosted on these virtual machines. In this case, an OCI marketplace service called dbVisit is used to restore Microsoft SQL Server from a backup. After all the applications in this group are stopped, FullStackDR performs all the pre-populated built-in tasks that quiesce things at Region 1. Then we execute all the built-in tasks to make compute, storage, databases, and other resources available in Region 2. After that, FullStack DR steps through user-defined groups you created to tell us what you need started in what order at the second region. You create what you need. In this case, we need these to be started first. Then we can start these after the steps in Group 1 are completed. And then we'll adjust DNS and complete the remaining steps in this group. The last tasks we perform are all related to cleaning up artifacts, reversing the direction of storage replication, and other internal bookkeeping to automatically prepare your business systems for DR in the other direction. Full Stack DR also keeps track of how long individual steps and groups of steps are taking to complete. The switchover is now complete. Notice the total duration time for the entire operation is shown here. The last thing I want to point out is that this protection group has automatically changed its role from standby to primary and is now ready to switch back to the other region. That's it. I hope this video was helpful and thanks for watching.